Hello everybody, Trello here, and welcome back to the Dance of Dragons dev server, where today we're going to be taking a look at the new Soviet ZSU-23 4M2 SPAA vehicle, which is coming in at rank 5 battle rating 7.3, between the ZSU-57-2 and the 37 2 So like I said, this is technically an SPAA vehicle, but in real life it was more used as a ground escort vehicle, and so the main differences between this and the regular Shilkers is that it hasn't got a radar and its ammo capacity has been doubled from 2,000 to 4,000 rounds. So this area back here used to have electronic equipment, it's now got ammo. So if you're shot at from the rear, obviously the vehicle was already pretty vulnerable, but now you're a lot more vulnerable to ammo racking. And so yeah, other than that, this is basically the same as the regular Shilker. It's got the same armor. It's got the same top speed of 31 miles per hour. You still got your four man crew. It's got a reload rate of 5.2 seconds, targeting speed of 42 degrees a second in the horizontal, 34 degrees in the vertical, and a two plane gun stabilizer. And you've got access to a whole bunch of different camouflages, which can be fitted if you so wish. And of course, just looking at the ammunition very quickly, it's actually going to be a little bit worse against enemy tanks because we're at a lower battle rating, you're going to be more likely to go against some of the World War II vehicles. So looking at the APIT shells, 36mm penetration at 500m or 51mm at point blank, that's not going to be able to pen the side of a King Tiger tank, which is at 67 Might have trouble penetrating against the Panthers, depending on what distance you're at and which variant you're going against. But of course, bringing those quad 23mm guns down 0.7 in battle rating, it will be very effective against aircraft, I think. Like I said, it's not got the radar, so it is going to be hampered a little bit. But I think this will be a pretty decent SPAA vehicle. Because I know the 57.2 and 37.2 aren't necessarily the most well-loved of the SPAA vehicles, though I've not tried them myself. So I think this will be a decent vehicle for the Russian SPAA lineup. It would have been nice for some other vehicles to get this type of vehicle, like the Americans. So I think they should hopefully be getting some vehicles in a later update this year. So fingers crossed there. But yeah, this vehicle will be a pretty good addition for the Soviet tech tree. Anyway, just a quick video looking at the ZSU-23-4M2. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I've been Toreno, and I'll see you next time.